Okay. Hey there, Heather. Oh there, it's Jeff Carter Diamond. Welcome you to round two coverage of the early 80s jaunt to Sawgrass. We see Joe Kirkwood and Tom Watson both had an eight under par first round. Arnon Massey and Hal Sutton with seven under par. Six under pars for Harry Farden, Alex Campbell, and Curtis Strange. Aruna. Lots of people are five under par. We have a hard course, a fast green, a standard rough with light northeastern winds, and the white pin. Now, we were going to look at Harry Farden's group in the lap uh, for round two, but because he was in the final group, we want to keep a little bit of suspense. So, we found a group that all three guys are five under par through the first round. The ninth one. Horton Smith, Eagles on two. So he's getting off to a fast start. Remember, if you start early in round one, you'll start very late in round two, and vice versa. If you're late in round one, you'll start early in round two. Round three is when we'll get down to 80 plus, the top 80 plus ties, and then the fourth round will be there. Third round, we'll be dealing with the 17th pole live from the TPC Sawgrass. And in the fourth round, we'll go with the final two. Remember, there's two person, two people per pairing. So the final pairing will be shown live and all that. Right now, it looks like Tom Watson is starting to pick up speed. John Golden trying to James Bray to a triple bogey on 13. That's not good. You dropped out of it. There's a chase between Watson and John Golden trying to become the first clubhouse leader. Of course, after the yep, Harden Smith Eagles on 11. So he's trying to put up some great numbers. Harden Smith, won, I believe he was the first ever Masters champion back in 1936. John Golden's got to 17. Let's see what he does. And he birdies. Bobby Jones Eagles on 11. John Golden ends with a 67, so he's at 800 par. Tom Watson puts up a 66, so Tom Watson leads at 1400 par. The only guy that's close to him is Bobby Jones right now. So, yeah, you see Horton Smith and Al Waltress trying to get some things going. Waltress puts up something. A 68. So now he's at 8 under par. Double digits. Well, can Walter Hagen hit double digits? Headed to the weekend. See Bobby Jones. Oh, Hagen's at 9 under par. Bobby Jones trying to catch Tom Watson. Well, you know that hole. That famous 17th hole. That's not grass. And Jones will par. Okay, that's not bad. Sometimes parring is better than burying. But don't hit the water. <laughs> no Kirkland Massey have yet. Bobby Jones ends up with a 66 himself. So he's on three back of Watson. Kirkwood and Massey have yet to start. Hal Sutton's trying to get some things. Curtis Strange is trying to get things going. There's a pair of 70s on the board. Horton Smith not doing so well. Really, Wafey Cox. Five under par. I believe we're doing the Alex Campbell group because Alex Campbell still hasn't gotten in. Farted and goes last. We'll be in the last group at Sawgrass. So. So. So right now, Watson at 14 under par. Bobby Jones at 11 under par. Walter Hagen at 9 under par. Hell Sudden is through 13 trying to catch up to Watson and Jones. Both legends of the game. Right? Right. So yeah, we'll be dealing with Alex Campbell. Alex Campbell will be one of the three guys we'll be watching in the group. I know Farden will be last, but we want some suspense and all that. We will be actually checking well, there's Hal Sutton at 10 under, 11 under par. We will be checking the cut line, which I'm projecting at minus 3 by my prediction. Will Hal Sutton get a birdie to jump into second place ahead of Bobby Jones? The answer is... Yes. 
so Sutton jumps into second. Tom Watson still has the lead. Kirkwood and Matthew have yet to tee off on their on their journeys. So see what happens here. Farden and Campbell have yet to tee off. There's Dan Pohl trying to get through. He's on eight under par through twelve holes right now. Leo Deagle, Curtis Strange. Sam Torrance, four straight birdie. He's had troubles all day, but Torrance looking good. Trying to do something. Curtis Strange Eagles on 16, so he's at 8 under par. But you know what happens. You got the 17th to deal with. Will Curtis Strange deal with the 17th pretty well? The answer is. Belly Pars. Well, Dan Pohl's 9 under through 15. Curtis Strange is at 9 under par. Pohl's at 9 under par. Going to the 17th. And he birdies it. So Pohl has a chance to jump into a tie for third if he birdies 18. Sam Torrance. Not bad. Back 9. He's now at 4 under par. Well, three guys are at double digits. Watson, Sutton, and Jones. Well, he just started, so soon we'll be getting the group of Alex Campbell and the Joe Kirkwood has yet to start. I think he was part of the first one off the team. Nope. Where's Alex Campbell in all this? Um, hmm. Fuck. Sorry about that, OB. Okay, here we go. Now you got Sullivan, Campbell, and Hurt. Okay. Oh, up a tree. I hit the fairway. That's a weird one. Campbell. Two eighty-five. Hurt. Second shot for Hurt. That's good to me. That's pretty good. Sullivan. Oh, that's pretty good. And Campbell. Campbell. The not work. So he all have to push on. Fuck. Sullivan. Anyway, second hole heard goes to the right, a little too far right. This is a per five, so we can kind of set it up for a good third shot. The second shot will determine how we approach. And then pipe, let's serve. Second shot for heard. Well, that's not bad. Deep bunker, he's 20 yards away. Sullivan. Oof. Right in the grass bunker. Can I Campbell? That's fine. I'm setting up all for their birdie. Sullivan. Not really the best. Campbell. And Sandy. So we'll have decent shots. This is for birdie. Nope. Campbell cannot do it. So five for him. Leave it. Overshoots terribly. Heard. For Heard. Yes, sir. For Heard. Silver Heart. Scooby Discord. Just likes to do that. Sometimes Discord will not go off on me. Sandy Heard. Sullivan. And now, Campbell. Campbell! Ooh! Oh, was a hole in one. Birdie for her. Nope, can't go back to back to back. Back to back to back. Nope, 
he overshoots it. Har? That's it. Enter this player. So right now, Kirkwood, 10 under par. Watson, Sutton Jones, 1, 2, 3. Um, you see Hurd putting up a few good birdies. He's not tied for 11. The cut. Um, well, we'll get to the... Once we get through eight, the 18 holes that our future group is in, then we'll take a look at the cut line. So Kirkwood's trying to get something going today. Here's Campbell. Ooh, in the rough. Heard. That's good. Come on, cheer for him. Oh, he's in the rough. That's why you won't cheer for him. Sullivan. So, to the right side. That's very cool. And now you can him. Weird. Sullivan. Campbell. Now hurt. Oh, oh the I thought it was going to flip it. Looks like it was headed for the water. Here's Campbell for birdie. Let's get close. Okay, that's not that bad. Sullivan. Nope. So there's Connor. Right for birdie. That's a bad idea. Campbell. That's a bad idea. So birdie just I don't think any of these guys have a bogey yet. Now, of course. Someone might get a bogey because I spoke too soon. Who knows? Her? Yep. Why did I have to open my big mouth? My giant boosh. Sullivan. They all miss wide right. How? Second shot for her. Sullivan. Campbell. Okay, I get it, I get it. Campbell, okay, that's not bad. Hurt. I just had to keep my mouth shut. Okay, so the game. Okay, that's a part of Saver, this is for part. Overshoots. I do. It's like... Maybe like well, Sullivan part. To my Sandy Heard fans, I'm sorry. Sorry, Scotland. I just had to open my big beak. Stop discording. Of I'll shut down. Let's go. Mike Sullivan. And Sandy Heard. One went left, one went right, and one went center. If we'll pitch it. Oh man, that greens are hot for bikini wax. Campbell. That didn't go hard enough. Will Sullivan do the three bears make one too much, one too little, and one just right? I don't know. Any bird? I got a problem for her. This is for birdie. 50 feet, I will lag it. Yeah, I would. So looking for birdie. Nine. Four. Four. Yep. So if I was cursing a herd, he would be tied for ninth. Well, right now it's Watson, Sutton Jones. Kirkwood is the only other guy in double digits. He's minus 10 through 8. Olin Dutra, minus 9 through 11. Jim Simons, minus 8 through 17. Don't know many of those guys. Kirkwood. Vision's the front nine. Oh, there's Dutra. Well, he's 10 under par, so it's Dutra. Owen Dutra. I don't know who the heck that guy is. Alex Campbell? Kirkwood's kind of insane. Mike Sullivan. And Mike. And Hurd. Sometimes it's better to go last because then you know what you have to do. Oh, that. Campbell. <laughs> Sullivan. That is on the fairway. Who wants to pitch that one and pitches it a little too much? Uh. 
Sullivan says, why not? Right. Oh, it's a little too much. Her for par. Yes. Yeah. Campbell for birdie. Yes, let's get it. Let's Campbell for birdie. Sullivan for par. Good job, I agree with these golfers. I'm getting the pin for this up. Jim Fork, triple bogey on 17. Well, it's the island green. What do you expect? And that might have knocked his chances of the weekend out to the door. Campbell. So the event. And heard. Well, heard did much better than the remaining three from the green. And not in that fucking bunkers. Oh, Sullivan, what the hell, man? Well, Campbell's gonna be given a good chance. Sullivan. Heard for Bertie. Jesus, Murphy. We had a chance for the game to find that. Campbell for four. No. And Sullivan for Bertie. He botched that double bump. He got to minus three. Which I'm predicting will be the cut line. I'm probably wrong. So now her. Right. Five. Her five. Campbell. Let's go to the water. But let us stay in the field. Yeah. Seven. Oh, that works. Second shot. Okay, that's what I'm going to First third, Campbell. Okay, he's in a good position. Sullivan. Okay, now, Hurts, third shot. Nope. He's in a deep bunker. Campbell. Oh, yeah. And Sullivan. Is he on the green? No, he's not. I have to pitch up. Sullivan, and now heard. What was that? He duffed it. He totally duffed it. Shouldn't be like that. This is for bogey. Well, double bogey for her. Not good. Can we go far? Yes, I can. Can we go Yes. So, is Watson Seven Jones? Dutra and Kirkwood still double digits and still on the course. Massey minus eight. He hasn't really done that well in this round compared to the first round. See Fuzzy Seller. David Frost is starting out. Now the cut line as of right now is at minus one. So it's worse than I anticipated. So we would have a hundred golfers. 70, minus one is 76. Remember, it's tough 80 and ties. So we could have a hundred golfers, 50 groups. Things, of course, could change, so we'll keep an eyeball on that floating cut line. So these three guys saw me came and heard me all qualify. Campbell right down the mic. Sullivan. I saw a little right center field. Can't hurt. Yes, sir. Campbell. Aye, plugged. Hurt. Okay, that'll work. That will work. And Sullivan. No. Here's Campbell. Campbell. Here's Sullivan. Park. Yes, Campbell. That's cool. Hurt for birdie. He can't put it down. And so he's a part of this. One more. Oh, a few more holes. Camel. You know that water is right there. Part five. So they've been. Okay. okay. And here. That's my phone. 
I don't know why my phone's blasting. Handle. Can't get over there. Oh, no. Sullivan. He does. That doesn't seem like a decent shot, but at least it didn't hit the white bird. Oh, that's beautiful. That's good. I have an angle in between me. Well, Campbell must be pissed at himself. This will be for par. For next shot. Sullivan. Sullivan trying to play it. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. He plays the pitch. This is for par. Well, he says par. Good job. Heard for eagle. Nope. But a bird. Why not? And Sullivan's the 30. Yes, sir. So, not bad to go in par in this hole. I thought Heard was going to have an eagle. No, nope, not yet. Sullivan. Right there. Let's see the left center. That's okay. Heard. That looks pretty good. Super top center. And Campbell. A little left. Now, suggestion for Heard. Oh, yes. That's definitely a void for the Scotsman. And Sullivan, that's close. That might be a birdie. And Campbell. Alex Campbell. Now well, he's got a tough shot for a birdie. Fuck. Sullivan. Campbell for par. Bird for birdie. Yes. Birdies. Cut line right now. Is minus one. We would have an unprecedented 101 golfers there. So, yeah. The tie for 80 if it's minus one. So, yeah. It shows you how bad things are. Sullivan. Okay. I was going to say, looks a little left. Okay. Hurt. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, really? Booty, booty, booty. And Campbell. So they have decent shots. Sullivan? Good shot. Seems to be a defender bar. Campbell? Can't follow that up. Heard. No, he can't. Fuck. And so, so Sullivan, 600 par. Campbell and Heard, 700 par. Sullivan, a little bit to the right. Hurt? Way wide right. Campbell. That looks good. 300 yards. 337. Hurt? Hurt? Okay. And now Sullivan. Campbell. Oh, that looks better than I anticipated. This is for Boyd. Fuck. Heard for Boyd. Oh, he should have had it. Campbell. Oh, you know what you're doing. Sullivan, that's a pound. Now the pot. Sullivan. Part four. A little bit to the left. Anyway. Second shot. Looks good. Like there should be a new rule on Sullivan shot. Campbell. Oof. Alex Campbell. So you heard. Sullivan. Ooh, a little bit past. Campbell. Par. Ay. Oh, both. Sullivan for par. Like that. Ooh, for par. Like that. So the cut line is still minus one with 99 golf. Well, 80 place is minus one, so. That's huge.
Now you got Sullivan. So these guys were, oh, man, I mean, I mean, yeah. these guys will all make it easily to the weekend. Now the question is where are we get a hundred guys or so we're gonna have fifty pairs of two guys, if you will. Second shot. Third. Nope. Sullivan? Nope. Kevil. Why no? Oof. Kevil. Just can't do it. That nice pipe shot. I think that's for Bogey. Sullivan. I just had to open my mouth. No cold when you know when it comes. Sullivan will fight for double. Oof. Oh, a tough triple bogey. Who's going to have quadruple bogey? Minus two. Wow. I jinxed him. Hurt for bogey. Oh, double bogey. Minus five. I can't have to double bogey. Why did I just have to open my big fat beak? Well, this is at 17 for hurt. Yes. Okay, that works. Campbell. Smacked, but the ball crossed at the back, so he'll have a better shot. Sullivan, right? I'm going to say ball crosses the hazard. Sullivan. Nope, I thought he would have a better drop. Well, Campbell has a better drop. He gets it out from the back. This is for Boogie. He missed, so it's a double Boogie for Sullivan. He might have just blown the chance at going on the weekend. Heard. Puts it down. Minus six. What a birdie. Bogey for Campbell. Minus three now. So good. Good. And James Sullivan. I feel so terrible. Hurt. Opening shot. Okay, that's not bad. Not good either. Campbell. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's on the fairway. And shot of 315. And Sullivan. Like that. Ninety-seven. That shot for third. He definitely will be going to the weekend. Sullivan will probably need a birdie, which he won't get. Probably Campbell. I think that's that for him. Sullivan. Okay. This is for Bird. Like he needs it. He'll take a par. Thirty-six. Like that. That's Campbell for birdie. No! So the headline is still minus one with 98 golfers now. Joel Ternusia, Denny Evers and Blaine Erm, and Gary Hallberg are still on the course at minus ones like Mark Lyon, Harold Hilton. So in the final groups, David Frost with a triple bogey on 13. Not good. Nice one, still the cut line. And it looks like that will be the cut line. Yep, minus one was the cut. Wow, shows how much sawgrass can fuck you up. So minus one, a 68 by Phil Blackmore and a 69 by Lenny Watkins, not enough. Keith Ferguson and Bobby Clampett can thank their lucky starters about the minus one, the lowest. It's Bob Eastwood, plus 11, the worst. Kenny Knox, second at 7 over. And a tie between Jose Maria Canisares and Tommy Armour, the third, plus 6. Oh, and Wayne Levi, too. Francis Ouellette, he has been struggling. Ben Cranshaw really struggled today. Craig Wood, but at the top of the board, it's Tom Watson, Hal Sutton, and Bobby Jones, your top three, heading into the final weekend. So, yeah, these are good. Walter Hagen and Curtis Strange, Dan Pohl, and Stuart Gardner are all tied for fourth. Stuart Gardner and Dan Pohl. Wow, these guys out of freaking nowhere. And tied for eighth are John Golden, Al Watrous, Olin Dutra, Armand Massey, and Joe Kirkwood. 
So we have an unprecedented 98 golfers. So 49 groups, I believe, right? When it comes down to, yeah, we have 49 groups of two golfers. So we all have a lot at the 17. Clampett and Tunisia will go first. Thorpe and Fergus and Weeby and McFarland. Minus three, well, Alex Campbell and them, the minus three. The final four groups, Gardner and Golden, Strange will be with Paul. Jones and Hagen will go together, and Watson and Sutton will go together. That is the end of that. So, two good rounds here at Sidegrass. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.